Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Dynamics 365 plugin development course and in this video we will see why custom development is needed in Dynamics 365. Previous video we have seen the different types of extensibility options in Dynamics 365 and in this video we will see why custom development is needed in Dynamics 365. So Dynamics 365 was designed to be a generic product that will meet the requirements of different companies working in different sectors for example dynamics 365 instance can be implemented for a hospital which is part of healthcare services and the same dynamics 365 instance can be utilized by the insurance companies both have two different verticals and they both serve different purposes but dynamics 365 was designed to be a generic product so there will be many times uh, possibility that all the features that particular sector or particular company will not be fulfilled by the out-of-the-box features of Dynamics 365. In those scenarios, Microsoft has given you an option to extend the existing platform to meet the desired goals and requirements that uh, comes in your day-to-day -day life. Many times, uh, your requirements can be achieved via simple configuration or customization options. And also, there will be many times where some of the requirements will be required in custom coding. There is no way that you can achieve that uh, requirements or you can fulfill those needs via out of the box UI. So let us now understand where, what are the scenarios where the custom coding is required. Whenever you are doing any complex platform level data validations like for example uh, if you implement any validations from the client side then those validations will not trigger from the uh, server side whenever you are making any crude operation or whenever we are performing any operations through other third-party applications or console applications so in those situations you need to write server side code basically you need to go for the plugins so in those scenarios you will be needing custom development uh, another typical example is uh, whenever you are whenever you want to generate an auto number for any entity for example uh, you need to implement that auto number generation logic where you are sending or receiving data to an external system in those scenarios you will be integration code to be in place and uh, in that uh, and in those circumstances you need to do custom development whenever we are perform whenever you are writing any complex reporting in those scenarios also you need custom development other scenarios when uh, whenever you are performing any repetitive tasks in those cases you will be needing to write custom development and whenever you want to integrate uh, google maps in dynamics 365 for your information google maps are not directly available integrated in dynamics 365 you need to perform external integration uh, microsoft dynamics 365 readily integrates with bing maps but if there are certain cases or certain scenarios where you need to integrate google maps then in those scenarios you need to perform external integration with Google Maps. Other scenario which involves custom development is whenever you are performing any data migration and many such scenarios would be requiring custom development. So I have given you a uh, general overview in which scenarios you required custom development and why we need it even though majority of the functionalities are available in CRM but there will be many such instances and many such situations where the out of the box solutions will not be the right fit. So in those cases, you need to do any custom development in Dynamics 365. Having said that, I will wind up this uh, session and in our next video, we will see what are the key considerations that you need to take uh, before you write or before you perform any custom development. Hope to see you all in that video. Till then, have a nice day. Take care. Bye.